Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up because I am giving you a thumbs up. Hit that bell button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out and also it's good for you because you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Alright, see you over there. God bless. Jesus loves you. Bye! everybody how's it going for this YouTube video I'm gonna be talking about Lexo Divina and what Lexo Divina is because I realized that I have put some Lexo Divina videos up on my YouTube channel but I have not talked about Lexo Divina so today I'm just basically gonna talk about what Lexo Divina is and kind of why I like it personally and how it's helped me so what is Lexo Divina basically in a nutshell Lexo Divina is a specific type of prayer where you're meditating and you're praying with the scriptures. So it is not studying the scriptures where you're trying to find the, the root word or the Greek word or the, or the original Hebrew or something like that or trying to study the history of the Bible. That's All of that's really good, but that's not what Lexo Divina is. Lexo Divina is more of a meditating upon the heart matter of the scriptures. So more so meditating upon the storyline what maybe people were going through within a certain passage of scripture let's say if we're meditating upon the the passion of jesus or one of the other gospel stories um we imagine ourselves in that situation in that storyline as one of the different people within within that specific passage or if we're reflecting more on something like the psalms or or the prophets or or maybe something like Paul's letters, um, we would be meditating slowly on the words and how those words make us feel and how they're speaking to us personally and how those specific words within a passage really resonate in our heart and how we can live those out in our day-to-day -day life. And this type of, this type of uh, meditation, this type of uh, way to read the scriptures is more being led by the Holy Spirit. We do our part, we read through the scriptures slowly, we kind of do it three times through. Usually people do it three times through because the first time you're just reading through the scriptures to read in through the specific passage to kind of get an idea of what it is. Then you're really planting the seed and going deep the second time and the third time you're going even deeper and you're just really planting that seed in to your heart and allowing the Word of God to really make root in your heart and then plant something beautiful um, that's going to bear fruit. And so with Lexo Divina, it's a, it's a really beautiful opportunity to meditate slowly on the scriptures and to see what Jesus, what the Holy Spirit, what God the Father is speaking to you specifically through that story through that passage and how you can grow within within your own personal walk with the Lord because the word of God does speak to us and we're we're called to we're called to meditate upon the scriptures we're called to to take time to just really hear the Lord and I know even in my own personal life I might not always get to do Lexo Divina every single day but I know that when I do the liturgy of the hours I know I can't remember every single thing that I read within the liturgy of the hours but I look for that one thing that pops out so for an example it might be the Lord comforts me like a mother comforts comforts their child that might just really pop out to me and and so then I meditate upon that through throughout the day and so that might happen too you might be going through through the specific passage three times go reading through it slowly and it just keeps speaking to you one sentence within that might speak to you and that's how it sometimes happens and so it's different every time and the other thing that I've noticed too when I do Lexo Divina is I might read the same passage like let's say a year ago and then read the same passage again this year and last year I had a big wow moment with God where maybe that passion that passage of scripture spoke something totally different to me than it would this year have an aha moment with God where I'm reading the same scripture. I might be learning something totally different. And so with Lexo Divina, it's really a open way to meditate upon the scriptures. I've also heard of people uh, doing Lexo Divina with the Catechism of the Catholic Church. I've heard people doing Lexo Divina with certain church documents. So anyways, but it's usually normally for 
uh, the Bible for scriptures um, to really meditate upon upon God's word and to really allow yourself to be saturated allow yourself to just soak in his word and to and that his word would just be planted so deeply in you in a, in a more not just a knowledge way but in your heart and so that's kind of what I think of Lixo Divina is it's kind of like God's word not just being planted in your mind but it's a way to have God's word planted in your heart so I just encourage you all um, to take time to do some sort of Lixo Divina um, even if it's not every day but just you know once in a while just sit there and try this other way of reading the scriptures because it's it's a really powerful way to encounter God. Alrighty, well thank you so much for watching this video. God bless, bye.